Daniel Craig gives the green flag. We're underway at the Roval. Still two by two as they dive into turn three. Denny Hamlin surges ahead. Keslowski has second. Logano, his Penske teammate, tucked back there in third. Christopher Bell in fourth. Christopher Bell in that 20 car. I think you need to watch him all day today. He has to win to move to the next round of the playoffs, most likely. Has good track position right now. I don't think he's going to give it up. He's going to be aggressive. The nine of Chase Elliott on the outside of that 19 of Martin Trex Jr. He's only nine points above the cut line. How aggressive will Chase Elliott be at the start of this race? Well, we're getting ready to find out because side by side, there you go, Chase Elliott. He gave the spot up to Martin Truex Jr. Did not want to go side by side in that rear chicane. Steve, two chicanes. If you miss this one, there's a spot on the front stretch just in the actually. Eric Amarola in that rear chicane. See right here on the bottom of the racetrack, 17, alongside of him, and Eric just didn't recognize that he was there. Contact is running 20th. See right here, gets in there and just 17 is there, and off they go. A little bit of damage on Busher's car. But that put Amarola all the way back to 39. Kill him quickly in this run, and Chris Gabehart told him, hey, our philosophy is simple. We want one playoff point. Oh, a spin by Brad Keselowski. Keselowski around. Get a point in, go ahead. I got a double eye coming here. Wait, 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 wait. On road courses, the caution right, won't come out more. if you go, can go, continue go. on, and Keselowski is going to be able to continue on, it looks like. Cautions come out. Ryan Newman, the right Rear tire completely gone on that car. And he went for a big spin. He was in the middle of basically the oval turn four high speed area. <laughs> when I looked up, he was spinning down the front stretch. I can tell you, buddy, you had a flat tire. It snapped around on poor Newman. Let's take a look and see how this happened. You mentioned Steve through NASCAR turn four up at the top of the screen. Blows the right rear tire. Car goes around, smacks the outside wall. Just a great break. I think that was Brad Keselowski coming through. It's hard to say, but I can see the yellow banner on the windshield. Yeah, Brad Keselowski almost got wrecked by a wrecking Ryan Newman. That just proves no one is safe around the Roval. Earlier, he goes around in the infield part of the course. Closing in on the leader, A.J. Allmendinger. Down to within two car lengths. Oh, and around 37. goes the 37. So right. Ryan Priest up against the wall. Who's going to give right here? Will anybody lift earlier? They're both going to try to outbreak each other. Side by side in this rear chicane is almost impossible. And they stay side by side. Chase takes the position away. Accelerates and drives away from AJ. What a move by Chase Elliott. Again, coming into this race, only nine points above the cut line, looking for 10 points right here at the end of stage one. Through the front stretch chicane, Chase Elliott wins stage one. Yeah, listening to their radio, I believe it's an alternator. They asked him to rev it up to see if the volts would increase like the RPM should with an alternator. It did not. So that tells me they have a charging issue for the five. That is next to impossible to fix during the race. It's going to take a long time to change an alternator. So now it's going to be about changing the battery for the five of Kyle Larson. Unlike the 48 of Alex Bowman, they're under the hood. So I'm not sure if they feel they had a belt missing or if it's a charging issue, but it's electronic issues on both. So go to the bottom of your screen. You see the car chief reaching in in front of the left rear tire. They're going to pull the battery out. That's where it's kept yeah, on those it vehicles. Off. Turn it off. You don't want to do this with the car running. You'll arc, and it can actually hurt the system. And take a look at this. Christopher Bell really wide through five and six. Yeah, just couldn't, couldn't get it slowed down <laughs> all the way in the grass. Christopher Bell, this race started out well. Four, pretty good. Oh, and look out! The nine is around. Big the damage. Four as well. There's a big damage to the back of this nine That's car. The 41 
of Cole Custer, hey, but a down. lot of damage to Chase Elliott. Yeah, the problem, yeah, the nine is destroyed, Junior. You said big get damage. Got to get this deck lit on it. The four was there, too. It was very close between Harvick and Chase Elliott. That car's broke. It is. That's big damage. Chase Elliott came into the race only nine points to the good. He has earned 19 points today in stage racing, but now a ton of damage. Wow, he's already got the damage at this point. So he's already had contact with the wall somewhere in the, in the infield. And then the 41 got him there as he slid into the grass. Yeah, let's take a look. You guys mentioned it already. Oh, right there. It's a great shot. Oh, did, was there contact between him? Look at the front bumper of the four car. Big damage to the nose of Kevin Harvick. Was that the payback from Bristol? Did Kevin Harvick wait until it mattered most for Chase Elliott? Let's take a look. You're clear. Wow. There was the contact. Sent him into the wall. Could that be the payback for Bristol a couple weeks ago? Riding on board, you hear him stand in the gas just before contact. And does that end the possibility of the nine? Right now, eight points below the cut line. Does that end his chance? Listen to the throttle. Clock. Let's listen into the nine radio. If we get a chance, we can wreck him and lock us in. Don't be worried. Oh, it's going to happen. There you have it. Alan Gustafson explaining to his crew chief. You know, we. Oh, yellow there's a yellow right, right here. No bumper cover, and the caution has come out. You give me odds on what the yellow's for? <laughs> no, I'm not giving. Ah, you odds. there it, it is. is. Okay, so the caution has come out. Debris on the racetrack. There you go, it finally loosened up enough where it blew off down the back stretch. No surprise, some of the high speed crush panel comes out. A lot of issues for the nine. It looks like the fuel fill is still intact, so that'll be a good situation for the nine. And the nine was able to stay on the lead lap in front of his teammates, so. A little twitch right there in the braking zone of the eight car, really pressuring. A little smoke back there in the back of the pack. Oh, the two cars spun out. Brad Kozlowski goes around. Oh, he, he gets the car right. A very lucky situation, going, no going, contact. This is a huge point Get story. On Looking on the left-hand side, Keselowski drops. He's now in the red, three points behind. Anyone else would go three wide right here and try to outbreak this 24 into the breaking zone, but I think Larson's going to cut him a break. Oh, Williams going to miss the. He's going to miss the chicane. Stop! Stop! Oh, Williams! Stop all the way. Oh, he still has this. Did he all ever right. stop? I'm not sure he ever stopped all the way. Yeah, he slowed. I'm not sure he came to a complete stop. Yeah, it's like three wide. The nine of Chase Elliott right there on the inside. Now it's four wide. They turn down in the 41 gets loose. Contacts the seven. Sends the seven up into the wall. And behind him, the 52 of Joey Hand making his first NASCAR start. Doing a nice job in that Rick Ware car. He just gets spun around. Big contact with the outside wall. Into the mix. Yeah, stuck behind the three of Austin Dillon. Losing a lot of spots. And not too far behind the four is the nine of Chase Elliott. Keep your eye on the bottom of the screen. What will Chase Elliott do if he gets to the four? Well, you're getting ready to find out because the nine has a run of the 19 of Truex, and the nine is going to force his way in. Oh, the four is going to miss the corner. He He's misses into the it into the DeWall wall. Kevin Harvick hard. The right front of the caution comes out. Heartburn turn, strikes again. Yeah, Brian. Just walk the tire up one straight. And you see the flames from under the hood. Harvick will be jumping out of there quick. And more safety crew there to him. Get out of there, comp fire here. Can't blame him for trying. Speaking of one second, one lap to go now. The final lap from the Roval for Kyle Larson. I mentioned we talked to him earlier, and he said, I'm not expecting to win this championship. I know I have to go out there and fight and get it. There's where the 24 of Byron got off track and into the wall in the infield. Well, Kyle Larson is going after it here in the round of 12. Coming in, Kyle Larson had 60 
playoff points. Those are the only things that will advance into the next round with you. 60 points is the maximum number of points you can earn in one race. So he has almost a one race advantage going into the next round. He's going to have more now. <laughs> Very impressive, Kyle Larson. I think what's most impressive for me, Rick, is the style of tracks. I would never have pegged Kyle Larson a road course racer, but this will be the second one of the year that he's proven that he can best some of the best road course racers we have seen. And getting some of their momentum back. Bad strategy at Vegas. Got in a wreck at Talladega. Before that, they weren't running great. Getting some of that back for this next round of the playoffs. And what a season it has been for Kyle Larson. He is going to become the first driver ever in the Cup Series to win three road course races in the same season. Kyle Larson through the chicane for the final time. He will win at the Charlotte Roval. Today, guys, I did not uh, not see us winning. We just keep, keep our heads in it all day long. Tyler Reddick second. Busher third. I am so proud of this team. Steven and Jesse, pick crew, you guys are amazing. Guys back at the shop. Hendercars.com, Hendrick Automotive Group, Chevrolet. Remember, they were under the hood a couple times, Steve. Yeah, it was anything but a smooth week for this team. But Cliff Daniels right there, the crew chief. We talked about it. They had some adversity. He led the organization. The mechanics did an amazing job with the plan that he laid out. He was great on the radio, calm on the radio. You see the eight. Eight, Cliff, stay calm. Hey, crew, awesome job, too.